All right, welcome to Gun Stuff. Today, we get a chance to bring you a Marlin 444. We're gonna do an unboxing for you here and show you just exactly what we get. All right, so you get the uh, packaging comes out like this. I've already taken the liberty of taking some of the plastic off here so you guys don't see me wrestling with a lot of plastic and stuff. The, uh, start off with the lock. So this lock is probably one of the biggest, most heavy duty locks I've seen come with a gun yet. So this has a, a, a metal bar that goes through and it comes with a padlock a full-on padlock to go through here so this isn't just one of your little small locks that uh, you could probably pry apart with a or bust apart with a screwdriver this thing comes with a full strength padlock also comes with a hammer spur so that way when you go to mount a, an optic on the gun or anything or any type of red dot or not necessarily red dot but any, if you want to mount any type of optic or anything on here uh, you'll have a hammer spur to where you can reach that hammer to cock it so you can fire it to single action comes with your owner's manual uh, and all your warranty information and one of the things that I like about this that they include in the owner's manual is one you have a firearms uh, log a record uh, so if you servicing round counts things like that uh, in all my years of uh, being issued a weapon for work either military or law enforcement you always had uh, round count logs and weapons maintenance logs and all those things were usually taken care of by your armors and stuff like that but you always had your personal uh, log as well and these things come in really handy because there's a lot of times that something needs to be done to your gun you know you get some kind of problem you can note it in here or you get to your round count and you start to have a problem with accuracy you go back and you look oh, okay well I've already shot a hundred thousand rounds through this gun so you know it may be time for a new barrel or something like that not necessarily that you go throw new barrels on these but the but the thing is is these these logs come in very handy and another thing that I really like about this is that it gives you the exploded view of the firearm so you can get online you can always find exploded views of firearms and stuff like that but a lot of times if you're out in the field or if you're somewhere uh, you, and you and you if you have this manual with you which comes with a lot of good information in there you can go through and you can kind of self-diagnose some of these things to keep this gun up and running when you're out in the field if you're on a long hunt because this gun it really is it's a it's a it's a it's a hunting gun is, is what it's meant for and it's meant for big game so it comes with a lot of information a lot of pictures and stuff like that so if you start to have problems you can diagnose these things and fix them so comes with your owner's manual which is a very comprehensive owner's manual which is really great then you have the model 44 itself so this is a beautiful firearm uh, lever action uh, the uh, so you got your lever action Marlin 444 so the 444 is meant to bridge the gap between 4570 uh, government so the so there, there I guess there was a time in the back in the day when 4570 uh, government was kind of hard to come by or they, they, they quit using it for for uh, uh, rifles and things like you know for the government rifles and stuff like that so the ammunition began to dry up a little bit so they so they came up with this caliber here as to bridge the gap between there so uh, what they did in doing that is they created the 444 which basically is going to shoot a lighter bullet it's going to shoot it faster so you get the same terminal ballistics as a 4570 uh, terminal ballistics out to say 200 yards which is probably about what you want to take a shot with a rifle like this anyways so about out to 200 yards you're hitting just as hard as a 4570 but you're shooting with a lot less felt recoil so you're shooting so it feels like you're shooting a much smaller caliber rifle and then on top of that the rounds being a little bit lighter it makes it a little bit lighter for you to carry the a little bit less stuff you have to pack in when it comes to, to the to the weight of the firearms and things like that so this being a uh, lever action gun you've got the the of course you have the hammer spur here that would attach onto here so if you put a, a sight on top a, a, a scope or anything like that on top here it would make it hard for you to cock this to to fire it so they give you the hammer spurs included which is a great option because a lot of times you get them get something put optic on there and then you're like okay it's great let's go to the range and then you realize oh i need one of these now so it may not be completely hunter ready where this thing is all right, so you're starting off with a uh, steel blued polished finish, which is beautiful, and I'm not sure if it shows up, uh, if you can see the, the luster in this from the camera, but uh, on camera, but the this is a 22-inch uh, barrel. It has a 1 in 20 twist rate, and it has the 
buckhorn sights. The buckhorn sights are these old school sights right here that we've all seen. Basically you lift up on this and you slide this little tab right here back and forth and that gives you your elevation. All right, so you're gonna get your elevation out of here. And then it has a nice hooded sight on top. So this, this little hood that you have on here is meant to protect your front sight because like I said, this is meant to be a hunting gun. So this is meant to be slung and being carried on your back right here. And you're moving through sticks and things like that. And you're gonna turn around, you're gonna bump into stuff with a hunting gun. So this is meant to protect your sights. These sights on the back here are pretty are pretty sturdy, pretty robust. So they, they can take a little bit of a hit, but your front sight is a little more delicate sometimes and sometimes it can get bent and moved. So these this is a little more uh, taken care of that's a little more protected you have a uh, five round magazine i'm sorry you have a five round magazine so you can have six rounds in the gun so it has the side side loader and it's also going to be ejecting from the side every time you cock it back and you work the action it's going to reset the hammer and bring it back down so you shoot again uh, everybody loves these you've had them before that the uh, seen it when the cowboy moves and stuff where people like to ratchet them and everything but this is one of the the areas where uh, defensive guns that some people are starting to offer these more and more like a tactical version uh, to make them look a little more appealing to modern day buyers. But the bottom line is this is a very, these are very, uh, very good self-defense guns and the fact that you can get them in just about any caliber you and, and a lot of them you can get in pistol calibers so that you can have your pistol caliber uh, in your like if you want a 357 44 mag all these different all these different this this version of course is not but uh, you can have them in these different configurations so that they feed both guns so you can shoot this just quite quickly and still have long range accuracy out to say two three hundred yards this also comes with the checkered walnut stock uh, this is some really beautiful wood here so this is uh, something that you know I really wouldn't want to take this out and, and bang it up too much but it's what it's for this gun here is meant for is on the on the uh, it, it says that it's meant for light-skinned uh, animals and up to elk so I mean it, you, bear and elk are, are, are really what these things are, are meant to be hunting so you this is a this is a gun that's meant to take down a uh, big game even though it, it, it says light-skinned you know I'm, I guess you wouldn't want to take maybe a rhino or an elephant with it but I mean you're you're right there on the verge with guns like this uh, we hope you like it and you know you can always find it here on gun stuff